Elizabeth Elliot is probably one of my favorite people ever, and so I'm really excited about doing this speech on her. But basically, how I first got introduced to her is a couple years ago, I read this book. It's called Passion and Purity. It's right here. Very good book. I recommend it. After I finished it, I went completely insane and started a Bible study on it because I was so blown away just by all the truth and amazingness she has in this book. And especially, I think the thing that blows me away most about her writing is that she has lived out the things that she is saying and the things that she is telling us to do. And so it's really, really amazing. It's so authentic. Her work is really authentic. And so I want to tell you a little bit about her life. Basically, she was born in America, you know, grew up, went to college, and in college, I think it was, she got the call to mission, and she met this really amazing guy there who was also planning on going overseas soon, and um, what's crazy is that um, he wasn't sure if he was supposed to be married or stay single or not, and so over the course of five years, they basically just waited for God's timing. timing to let them get married and so it's really really respect it makes me respect her a lot and him a lot Jim Elliott is his name um just like how patient they were and she just talks throughout the whole book about being patient but the really crazy thing is after that five years of waiting to get married and being patient um they both went overseas together and they were in Ecuador for about two years and then one day her husband and some of the men the other missionary men went out for a um, to go and try to um, evangelize to the to this people group, and what happened is when they went over there to try to tell them about the gospel, they got the people who they were trying to evangelize to killed them, and so you know, first of all, that would be extremely hard because now your husband, who's like the closest one to you is dead like first of all just really really hard but basically afterwards elizabeth elliott and the other women the wives of the men who had been killed go to the same people group and they continue to share christ with them the people who killed their husbands it blows my mind and uh, it's just crazy it's amazing and so i just really really think her faith just it just blows me away completely so anyway she's a really amazing woman and now She's still very active, and um, she's getting older now. She's like 80, so she's not as active as she used to be, but she still has daily devotionals and things that I read every now and then, and um, she has written a book. I guess this was a couple years ago. I'm not really sure, but it's called Quest for Love, and this is really good. It's basically women who have read, and men, but women and men who have read her Passion and Purity book and have written out stories that how that book has influenced their love life and it's really neat just to kind of read these just all sorts of different stories and then she responds with basically um, saying like how what they're doing you know has to do with scripture and um, and just reciting the lessons that came from their specific stories so it's really neat and anyways how she really influenced my life is I was you know, right now I'm in a relationship. My boyfriend and I have been dating for two and a half years, and we're going to have about two to two and a half more years of waiting. And so I can really, really um, relate to her. And so this work has been really great for me. And, um, and for us, too, my boyfriend and I have been studying this book together just to really try to keep our eyes focused on Christ first and being patient and doing whatever his will is no matter what that costs. I mean, willing to sacrifice just even the things that are so close to our hearts. And so I even have this little notebook here. It's kind of old, but I have so much of her writing and her quotes from her book. This looks like it's blank. It's not, I promise. See, see stuff? Yes, a lot of written things. But, um, so, I mean, she has really influenced me deeply, too, and, um, and so, like I said, she's an older woman now, but she, pretty sure she might still be um, sometimes speaking at different conferences and things. And she's just a really wonderful woman. So I just got to tell you guys about that because I love her. She's really cool. So thanks for listening, and I hope you read her stuff, please, even if you're a boy. Boys love her stuff, too. I just, I have a friend who's a, um, 
he is a football player, a starting football player at the Citadel. I don't know if you guys know where that is, but it's like a big military school. Like, he's a huge military guy, like, big masculine guy. And he just read Passion and Purity, and he loved it. So I'm just saying, guys, please read it. It's so good, especially if you're in a relationship. You just have to, even if you're not. But still, you should. So anyway, thank you for listening. Okay, have a good day.